OU Football Preview Show. Sponsored by McIntyre Law Firm, Hal Smith Restaurant Group, Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center, Laser Light Skin Care Center, Natural Native CBD Products, Cosina Domino, and Orthodontics Exclusively. Now here's your host, Rick Heath. Hello, sports fans. Welcome to OU Football Preview Show. I'm Rick Heath. With me, Noble McIntyre, and we're at the McIntyre Law Firm on Southwestern, where they help everybody that needs help with personal injuries. But somebody that needed help on <laughs> Saturday was Lane Kiffin and the FAU Owls, Florida Atlantic Owls. Oklahoma just absolutely dominated them for a really, really satisfying first victory. Boy, they did. And, you know, I, I knew OU was going to win. I didn't see that much of a win coming. In fact, I had just been in Las Vegas the week before on some business, and the line was 20. Oh, and, and you and, got my win ticket, do you? Yeah, I do. I brought it. I brought it. It's a great job betting 100 grand. Yeah. But the way, the line was 20, and I looked at it and thought, you know, OU historically starts off a little slow the first of the season, getting the rust out. And, and I didn't bet them. And I had no idea that OU would have won that bet by halftime. I mean, it was really we, – we came out and we played really, really well. Well, you know, and, and I, I picked OU to cover. But I didn't think it would be that much of a blowout. I thought FAU would have a little bit better game plan. But I think Lane Kiffin just wanted to come in there and not get anybody hurt. Don't matter if you get beat, embarrassed. Nobody cares now. Wherever they go back home, they knew they were going to get beat. Get it out of the way. Now let's go win some other games. But, you know, OU dominated from the they very did. beginning. And uh, it was out of hand, as you said, by halftime. It was. The very first drive, I was actually down on the field for the first drive. And we'll talk a little bit in a moment how I sponsored the game. But I was down there, and the first drive was coming towards me. And FAU was doing a good job. And I thought, they're going to come down and start this game with a score. And then they didn't get anything. And then from there, OU just dominated. Well, you know, and, and the offensive line was part of that. And so, you know, it starts up front with the big guys. Right. And that is where OU's strength lies. And that's going to be the best thing moving forward all year long is that offensive line is so dominant. And uh, Lincoln Riley went out of his way to salute the second team offensive line. So that shows the depth. We'll talk about defense later on, which was pretty good, but it wasn't very big test. Uh, UCLA coming up will be a much right. bigger test. But I'm Rick Heath, and we are at McIntyre Law Firm with Noble McIntyre, where if you need help with your personal injury, McIntyre Law Firm can help you. Now, if you need help with OU game tickets, <laughs> OklahomaTickets.com is where you need to go. Season tickets, individual game tickets, or concert tickets. The best selection of them all, OklahomaTickets.com. We'll be back right after this. I'm attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invokana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. Natural Native CBD products in Redbud Plaza in Norman is a great place to get your CBD products. They're organic and all natural. And research and studies are show, have shown that CBD products help with pain and inflammation, antipsychotic effects, reduces anxiety, relieves nausea, may treat seizures and other neurological disorders lowers the incidences of diabetes and promotes cardiovascular health and overall well-being. So if you're looking for the best CBD products in the metro area, natural native products in Redbud Plaza in Norman, all organic, 100% pure. Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub, now open at 150th and Penn, <coughs> featuring traditional Irish favorites and a, with a modern twist. Maddie's is a pub-inspired eatery, features nearly 30 Irish and American whiskeys and scotches, as well as beers, cocktails like the Guinness Float ice cream and Guinness, or Eden's Apple hard cider and Guinness. Maddie McMillan's hosts kegs and eggs brunch every Saturday and Sunday, and is sure to be the perfect hangover cure. The brunch features omelet bar, Bloody Mary station, along with $2 mimosas and $13 mimosas carafes. Grab your friends and hang out at Marty McMillan's 
on 150th and North Penn. And welcome back, OU Football Preview Show. Rick Heath, Noble McIntyre. Now, Noble, um, you and your law firm sponsored that first game, and so we have you to thank for the blowout victory. Well, yeah, I should get all the credit. Everybody <laughs> send me the credit. No, it's the second year that I've sponsored the opening game of the season. Uh, I did it last year, which was the first game ever of Lincoln Riley's career. Did it again this year. Had my whole entire staff down on the field for kickoff. I have a great, great team, and so we had a great time. We were, we were able to watch the kickoff and watch that first drive, and then went out on the field, and I was interviewed at halftime by Toby Rowland, and just generally, it's my way to support the University of Oklahoma. I mean, I love Oklahoma football. Yeah, and you know, and that it's, it's such a, down on the field is so exciting because it is. you get the size of these guys. I mean, up, you know, when you're sitting in wherever you sit or at home, you don't realize how big and fast these guys are until you're down there. And then what also amazes me is the sound of the game. Uh, oh, there's no quite, you know, speaking of size, I mean, I'm a big guy. I'm 6'1", I'm 230 pounds, and I think the kicker's bigger than me. <laughs> and so, I mean, you're right. These guys are just huge. And the other thing that's fun about the sidelines, everybody's there. I mean, Long Kruger was there and came over and talked to us. Sherry Cole was over there and came over and talked to us. I mean, everybody that's anybody for OU is down there. And yeah, just hearing the play and hearing the impact and the pads hitting, uh, it's, it's a very unique experience. Speaking of big guys, the offensive line for OU, we talked about them in the opening segment, big guys really well prepared for that game. Oh, uh, they were. And it, it'll be interesting to see how strong of a test that really was. I mean, FAU was 10-3 and three last year. I think they're going to be a good football team this year. But we dominated them so soundly, you wonder, okay, are they as good as we think they are, or are we just that good? Both, okay, both. OU's better than we thought coming out, and FAU is not very good. A better test, UCLA coming right. up. Power 5 conference contender, Pac-12 contender. Um, going to have quality athletes across the line. Lincoln Riley went out of his way in a press conference talking about how big they are, especially on the offensive line and defensive ends and linebackers. He said these guys are 6'4", 6'5", 230. They run. They can, you know, some of them will play on Sundays. Uh, he said, so this will be a much greater test athletically than Florida Atlantic. So this will test, you know, and, and give uh, another gauge of how well OU is uh, – uh, maneuvering on the field with this offensive line, can they carve holes like they did? Right. If they can against a quality athletic team like UCLA, OU may have something really special on that offensive line. Well, I think so. I mean, we'll see. The bigger those guys are, the harder it's going to be to catch our quarterback, though. So, I mean, he just ran around. It was unbelievable watching him run around. You know, that, that uh, we're going to try to show the highlight of Kyler Murray uh, in his scramble where he ran almost 54 yards to gain 15. But, I mean, he went left, he went right, and then he went back right and went around, and, and he even got tired. I mean, well, can you imagine? I, I mean, I got deep tired deep? watching him. It was unbelievable. That guy is fast. Well, he is, and he's got great scrambling ability, and that was just a, a, you know, a small little serving of what he can do. But the running backs ran well. Rodney Anderson, five carries, 100 yards, 100 yards two, yep. two touchdowns. Trey Sermon, if, if possible, bigger, stronger than last year, which we, right. we thought he would be. But, I mean, he proved it. I mean, such a bruising runner. Head up, boom, boom, just run. He always moves the pile. You know, if you notice, when they hit him, it takes two or three, and he right. still moves forward. Yeah, great um, athlete. Yeah, and, you know, and then four running backs scored five TDs. Now, that's something that's never happened since maybe the, the uh, switch error and the, and the wishbone that that kind of running back performance, especially the first game. Well, I mean, it was it was an exciting game to watch in the first half. After that, I was getting a little warm. It was hot out there, yeah. and we were dominating so much. But yeah, just to watch OU come out and just thoroughly dominate was was fantastic. Here's how dominant it was: C.D. Lamb, the number one receiver, coming back, and it's going to be all conference potential. Didn't have to catch a pass until the second right. half. Right. And I'm that sure was he's, from Kendall. That was from Kendall, uh, Austin Kendall. I'm sure he's disappointed about that, but he'll get his turn. Oh, uh, he will. He'll get his share. He'll get yep. his share. Now, Hollywood Brown, I mean, and I, you know, I call this, so I just have to tell you, <laughs> I call this. First play of the game is what I call for. Uh, play action, hand off to Rodney Anderson, go back, throw it deep to Hollywood, and see how far behind him he can get. Now, they didn't do that the first play, but they tried it and were successful. Right. You know, 65-yarder, not bad. Not bad at all. You know, so, you know, the offense did every, showed everything they needed to show. Um, they got to accomplish what they wanted to accomplish. They got to play everybody. Drake Stoops. Right. Caught two balls. Caught two balls. Red yeah. shirt. Uh, excuse me, not red shirt. True freshman for the first time right. got in there. Um, and 
as far as anybody can tell, the only walk-on freshman to ever play in the first game and catch two passes. Last name helps. Yeah, yeah Last name yes, helps, it does. But he got out there and did his job and did what he was supposed to do. And you know what else helps? He's got a lot of talent and a lot of determination. Right. And he's determined to show that he's not just a stoop. But everybody else played well. Um, you know, I, they didn't even have to go to Calcaterra. They didn't have to go to an H-back, Carson Meyer or Jamar, Jeremiah Hall. So, I mean, they, they only did about, you know, what, four-tenths of their offense, right. maybe. Maybe three-tenths of their offense. And they kept it, you know – they didn't need to do it. That's how dominant it was. You know, the defense, on the other hand, was pretty successful. Right. We'll talk about that later on. But, uh, you know, the House Smith Restaurant Group has three new concepts for your dining pleasure. Neighborhood jams for breakfast, the Winston, and the newest is Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub on 150th and North Penn. So if you're looking for a new place to go out to eat, whether it's breakfast, you go to Neighborhood Jam, there's two of them, one on 150th and North Penn and one in Norman on Main Street. The Winston, which is a Pub W type place, but with its own unique features on Main Street in Norman and Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub. 150 North Penn for the best in Irish pub food and great scotches and whiskeys, all available at Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub, 150th and North Penn. We'll be right back with Dr. Michael Padilla right after this. And let me tell you about a new sponsor that we have here at the OU Football Preview Show, and that is Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center with over 10 locations throughout the state. Locations in Moore, Prague, Purcell, Holandville, Seminole, Durant, Ada, Midwest City, Weatherford, Paul's Valley, and Norman. And they have six orthopedic surgeons and one podiatrist. They have in-house physical therapy and one of the largest open MRIs in the state. So if you're needing work with orthopedics, then you need to call Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center in Norman and find out the nearest location to you and let one of their expert orthopedic surgeons take care of your problem the right way the first time. That's Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center, 10 locations throughout the state, including in Norman. I'm attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invokana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. Natural Native CBD products in Redbud Plaza in Norman is a great place to get your CBD products. They're organic and all natural. And research and studies are show, have shown that CBD products help with pain and inflammation, antipsychotic effects, reduces anxiety, relieves nausea, may treat seizures and other neurological disorders lowers the incidences of diabetes and promotes cardiovascular health and overall well-being. So if you're looking for the best CBD products in the metro area, natural native products in Redbud Plaza in Norman, all organic, 100% pure. I, I don't talk politics on this show, but there is something that's coming up to vote November uh, that affects a lot of people and a lot of Oklahomans, and that is 793, state question 793. Suffice to say, the people I've talked to advise to vote no on question 793. Keep optometrists out of big box stores like Walmart, Costco, and the rest. Let the small Oklahoma optometrists survive in this economy by voting no on state question 793. Before we go to Dr. Padilla, let me introduce our new contest we have here at the OU Football Preview Show. Tweet us at, at RickHeath10. And the best tweet we get, Al and I get, we'll, we'll look at them during the game, and the best tweet we get, at RickHeath10, wins a $50 gift certificate to the Hal Smith Restaurant Group. The Hal Smith Restaurant Group, hey, these restaurants are like Red Rock Grill, Charleston's, Mahogany Grill. You'll win $50 gift certificate to one of those restaurants for the best tweet. So don't forget, during the game, tweet us at, at RickHeath10, and the best tweet wins a $50 gift certificate from the Hal Smith Restaurant Group. And welcome back, OU Football Preview Show. Joining us now, 
Dr. Michael Padilla from the Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center here in Norman, plus 10 locations throughout the state. So yep. it's not just here in Norman. Okay. So if you have a high schooler, you're a weekend warrior, you have a problem, find out where your nearest Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center clinic is. They'll check you out and take care of you the right way with Dr. Padilla's expertise, of course. Um, and being the expert here on our show, there, there's a new helmet rule that's making big waves in the NFL and slowly it'll work its way to college and high school, which I think is a good thing. But you can't use your helmet to initiate contact. And there's many reasons for that, but there's been so many injuries. Talk to us about that, the, the reason behind that safety feature of not leaving with the head. Um, I think that's a great topic. Um, obviously concussions are um, a huge source of concern today. Uh, I mean, there was even that Will Smith movie that came out several years ago uh, regarding that. I mean, you know, the concussion itself isn't the issue, but it's what could potentially happen after. Uh, you, know, you can get uh, uh, you know, uh, CTE, um, which, is, uh, which is a big deal. We're seeing athletes, um, you know, not to sugarcoat it, but commit suicide from uh, uh, repercussions from that. So I, I think the NFL, you know, is, is progressively trying to be, make it a much uh, safer sport for its participants. And um, th that starts with implementing that helmet rule. And unfortunately, it's going to have to change the training of coaches to, um, uh, how, with respect to how they teach tackling, right? And when you play football from a young age, Pop Warner all the way up to high school, college, and professional sports, you're taught the same way, right? So there is going to be a trickle down effect where people uh, in the uh, little leagues of football are going to have to teach uh, these athletes how to tackle properly and that'll well, eventually and, and prevent Basically, uh, injury. A tackle head up. Instead exactly, of right. leading like exactly, this, correct. you're looking to head up. Right. And, and I think that that's so much a safer look at it because throwing your head in there, I mean, crazy guys like me did that in <laughs> high school, you know, yeah. and then you wonder why you got your bell rung. Right, right. Not only that, but uh, spinal cord injuries as well, you can see. Uh, burners and stingers we see quite a bit of, but um, you know, you want to, you want, you want the sport to be to be fun and engaging, but you also want these athletes to come out of it okay. Um, they have families, um, and, and you you want you want them you want them as safe as possible. So that's where it starts. That's that, that's where it comes from. Um, it'll definitely trickle down, but you want to minimize the chance of concussions uh, in addition to um, uh, in addition to uh, spinal cord injuries. Well, you know, and I think you hit it on the head, uh, Dr. Padilla. Is is that from Pop Warner up? I mean, start teaching your youngsters when they first start playing tackle football. Oh, uh, you know, and it's my belief until you're in your teenage years, you should be playing tackle football in it. But that's just me. Uh, but teach them how to do it head up, you know, yeah. and go in with your body, go into the shoulder, something, but don't leave with your head because so many bad things can happen from there. Yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely right. And, and what where this goes into is in preventative medicine, right? We know how to take care of people um, and athletes who have concussions. And I think we're doing that um, better today than we have ever have been. Um, where we, 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 we go very slow as far as how quickly we release them back to sports, but now we're trying to prevent it, and that's where it comes, that's where this comes into play. We want to prevent these injuries from happening so we don't have to deal with so many concussions and keep them safe and keep their, their playing careers prolonged. Real quickly, if, if, if someone suspects that one of their children is, you know, maybe sustained a concussion, what's the protocol? Keep them out. You do not let them play until they're evaluated by someone either trained to treat concussions uh, um, or, or a physician that can send you to, send you to, to uh, someone that can uh, treat a concussion. So just keep them out. Keep them out. And have doubt, them come see any me. doubt? Yeah, any doubt? Keep them out. Come see Dr. Padilla, Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center here in Norman. Ten locations throughout the state. Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center clinics. Thank you, Dr. Padilla. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be back with more after this. And let me tell you about a new sponsor that we have here at the OU Football Preview Show, and that is Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center with over 10 locations throughout the state. Locations in Moore, Prague, Purcell, Holdenville, Seminole, Durant, Ada, Midwest City, Weatherford, Paul's Valley, and Norman. And they have six orthopedic surgeons and one podiatrist. They have in-house physical therapy and one of the largest open MRIs in the state. So if you're needing work with orthopedics, then you need to call Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center in Norman and find out the nearest location to you and let one of their expert orthopedic surgeons take care of your problem the right way the first time. That's Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center, 
10 locations throughout the state, including in Norman. And let me tell you about a new sponsor that we have here at the OU Football Preview Show, and that is Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center with over 10 locations throughout the state. Locations in Moore, Prague, Purcell, Holdenville, Seminole, Durant, Ada, Midwest City, Weatherford, Paul's Valley, and Norman. And they have six orthopedic surgeons and one podiatrist. They have in-house physical therapy and one of the largest open MRIs in the state. So if you're needing work with orthopedics, then you need to call Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center in Norman and find out the nearest location to you and let one of their expert orthopedic surgeons take care of your problem the right way the first time. That's Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center, 10 locations throughout the state, including in Norman. I want to thank some wonderful sponsors of our show, the Trails Golf Club in Norman. Hey, fall's a great time to play golf, and if you want to find out what it's like to be a member at the Trails Golf Club, play a championship course and be treated well and family-friendly atmosphere, the Trails Golf Club is for you. Give them a call at 364-3790. Talk to Kathy Hess about membership specials. Casino Domino, some of the best Mexican food since 1983. 59th and Southwestern. If you haven't been to Casino Domino's in a while, go back and you'll remember why you love Casino Domino's since 1983. Brown Shoe Fit Company in Norman. End of summer sale is about to wrap up. They've got great bargains, men, women, and children. Be sure to go by and get those bargains now before fall sets in and all the new fall fashions are up. So huge shoe sale in the summer sale at Brown Shoe Fit next to Hobby Lobby on Main Street in Norman. And if you're like me and your kids need orthodontics, need braces, hey, orthodontics exclusively, Dr. Tim Shannon, Dr. Mark Revels are where you need to go. Give them a call at 321-2735 and they will make your children have a smile that'll last a lifetime. And Crutcho Sod. Crutcho Sod has been in business since 1983, bringing sod and making yards beautiful since 1983. But if you also need a football field, soccer field, baseball field, whatever, they also do that. They have tiff grass, they have buffalo grass, they have dry hydro mulching, plus they deliver and install. So give them a call at 732-4327. And don't forget the three new dining concepts for the House Smith Restaurant Group. Neighborhood Jams, 150th North Penn and on Main Street. If you're looking for a new breakfast place, they have biscuits the size of a plate for your breakfast pleasure, plus all the things you like for breakfast. And the uh, Winston on Main Street next door to the, to the Neighborhood Jams, it's a Pub W concept with its own spin and great food and great atmosphere at the Winston. And don't forget Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub, 150th and North Penn, the best Irish pub grub and a 30, over 30 scotches and Irish whiskeys for your tasting pleasure. Noble, you know, the, the defense looked much improved from last year. It, it did. You know, last year and the year before, the secondary was always such a big concern, and you didn't see them getting burned this game. You saw them playing well, and the front line did a really, really good job. I mean, overall, I don't know how you really complain about the performance of the defense this week. I thought they did a great job. Well, they did what they needed to do against right. FAU. They came out prepared. They, they, they were in their sets. There was no breaks. You know, there was no mess up, uh, mishaps. Uh, now, there were a couple of long balls that were overthrown by FAU that if they were had a little bit better toss, right. could have could have been completed. But the defensive secondary was in the vicinity. It wasn't like a guy was right. running wide you know, and, open. And it goes back to what we said earlier, how good of a test this was. How would they have stacked up against an Alabama? You know, and, and, and we just don't know until we get further in the season. And we have a better test coming up. Yes. And then we have some more tests coming up after that. You know, with a great offensive mind like Chip Kelly, they're obviously, you know, they weren't going to show a whole lot against Cincinnati. Now, they didn't. They, they were so effective at not showing a whole <laughs> they lot. Lost they lost the They got beat. <laughs> That's a tough way to not show Maybe they should have showed a little bit yeah, more. Maybe, Chip, you should have broke out your first team yep. offense. But, uh, you know, Chip Kelly is so creative. I mean, he's one of the most creative football minds in football. Not, I mean, including NFL and college. And as a matter of fact, um, uh, Blevins asking at this week's press conference about what's it, what's it like to be named one of the biggest and brightest offensive minds you know, in college football, and he was talking about Lincoln Riley, not Chip Kelly, which is a compliment to Lincoln right. Riley. But, um, you know, the defense is going to see a lot more 
athletic uh, players. I mean, the offensive line's big and huge, and then we'll see how that defensive line stacks up against a quality offensive line. Uh, now, there are probably going to start a true freshman. The, the experienced quarterback for UCLA uh, got hurt against Cincinnati. Right. And that, that contributed a little bit to the fact that, you know, the, the freshman wasn't quite ready. Uh, now, he maybe he'll be better prepared for, for the OU game. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, the defense will be tested more. We know that. The offense, I think OU's offense just needs to be on the field more this game. Right. They, they were only played a half. You know, Rodney Anderson got five carries. Right. You know, I mean, Kyler Murray had, uh, you know, sing, almost single digits tosses. Uh, still got 200 yards, by the way. But, um, you know, 9 of 11, 8 of 10 for him and Austin Kendall, pretty good passing efficiency. But they would be a bigger test against UC, UCLA. I think they will win. But there's three questions here I have for you on defense. Can the defensive line have that success against a quality power five? Yeah, I think so. Line? I don't, you know, Chip Kelly's first year there. I, this team has got some good athletes. They're not going to match up with Oklahoma yet. You give him a couple of years in the program and let him have his own athletes and maybe, but not yet. And so can OU match up? Yeah, OU's going to do really well against them, I think. And so I, I don't really foresee that being a problem. It's going to be a better test than FAU, but it's not like it's going to be West Virginia later in the year. Yeah, or Iowa State Iowa, the week after. Right. Uh, the, to me, the biggest uh, question mark still on defense, linebackers. They need to play better. Um, to me, it's still the biggest weakness on the team. Yeah, I mean, I think they're getting better and better all the time. It's certainly better than they were last year, I believe. I mean, we have some really good athletes. And it's just a matter of, like you said, getting some playing time and getting out there on the field and getting into some – competition where they're out there for the entire game instead of just part of the game. You know, and the defensive secondary, we talked about that. They played pretty good the first game, but that wasn't really a test. Chris Robinson just had a hard time throwing the ball. Uh, but they'll, you know, they'll have a better test because there's some wide receivers that are good size and, and have a t uh, possibility of playing in the NFL on Sundays that will be facing the defensive secondary. So we'll answer a lot of questions on that. Yeah, I think so too, but you still have to have the quarterback get it to them, and I don't know that they're there yet with UCLA. We're certainly going to face some very, very good quarterbacks later in the year. I don't think that this game is going to be the test for the secondary, but it's going to be a better test than perhaps last week. I, I tell you how much of a test it is to me. My prediction is OU 48-21. You know, I think that's a pretty good deal. I mean, it's going to be tough for anybody to hold OU less than 40 this year. I don't care who you are. And so, I mean, I, I, I can see OU getting to 49 or 50. Um, do we give up 21? Maybe. Um, I mean, I think, I think I'm going to go 52 to 18. I know 18 yeah, yeah. is a weird score, yeah. but, but we'll just see how close I there, am. There you go. Okay. Hey, let me remind everybody, we have a new contest, and if you will tweet us, and the best tweet – during the game, we'll win a $50 gift certificate from the Hal Smith Restaurant Group. So tweet us at Rick Heath 10 Tweet us at Rick Heath 10 and the best tweet will win a $50 gift certificate from the Hal Smith Restaurant Group. That's going to do it for this week's show. Noble, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. And remember also, post-game show, 15 minutes after each home game, we have Facebook Live and YouTube Live here on the OU Football Post-Game Wrap-Up. We'll be back next week.